Hello everyone and welcome to another BI Consulting Services video. My name is Brad and today I am very excited to bring you some of the new updates that Power BI brought us in June and July, including some fabulous updates to the KPI card visual and some nifty tweaks to the line charts. Let's take a look. With the summer months comes a revamped visual from Power BI and this one is pretty significant. Card visual is immensely popular within Power BI reports, and yet it hasn't been updated since it was first introduced. There's so many new features and options to look at, so let's begin by adding some data to the canvas and selecting the new card visual. Immediately, you can see how all four metrics are grouped together in a series of cards, as opposed to us having to create four separate cards. Now already this is going to make formatting and editing across all the cards so much more efficient. If we go into our format pane and click into size and style, we can make edits to the grouping area behind our cards. We can edit the padding, add in a background, or turn on the border or shadow. We can choose to add in a title if we want, and even a subtitle. I'm going to leave the labels on for each of the cards, so we'll leave the title and subtitle off. In shape, we can select between different shapes we'd like the cards to take. This slider allows us to adjust the size of the rounding corners, or snips on the top and bottom. Additionally, we can choose a custom style, where you can adjust each corner separately. For callout, we can make adjustments to the values and labels in the cards. Of course, you can choose to make changes to the entire series, or edit each card individually. We also have the ability to change the label position, and turn text wrap on or off. Spacing gives us some additional control over the look of our cards. In layout, we can adjust our alignment and spacing, but the really cool thing here is this orientation function. We can switch between horizontal and vertical, but we also have a grid option where we can create rows and columns for our cards. Finally, under cards, we can make further edits to the appearance of our visuals. For all of you web dev folks out there, padding can be adjusted to alter the label and value positioning. Fill can be used to add color or images to your cards, giving them some more depth. You can throw a border or shadow on all of your cards, add some glow, or add an image. I really like this accent bar feature too. I just think it's a nice subtle way to add some impact to the visual. Okay, let's head on over to our line charts now to check out these updates. We've got our chart here illustrating sales plotted over time. We now have the ability to change the line design by heading into our format pane and dropping down lines. In here, we can now update the line type to smooth or step. You can also tweak the line style and change the size of the line. I really like the look of these smooth lines. You may lose a little of the precision when illustrating the data this way, but for more fluid observations, I think it offers a nice alternative. Finally, you know we can add in our data labels, but now we can also add leader lines and even adjust the distance between the labels and the plotted line. I really like how we have more control over how these labels are presented on the chart now. Finally, our last update to review is the new ability to embed visuals from Power BI service directly into PowerPoint. If we log into service and open a report, then click on Share, we have this option to select PowerPoint. From here, you can either copy the link and post in your deck, or just click Open in PowerPoint. Eventually, your app loads up, and there you have it! Your report is now embedded into a slide with the full functionality of bookmarks and selections still available. That's it for now! As always, if you have any questions about this content or would like the BIX team to cover a topic in a future video, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future videos, and thanks for watching.